Hi there everybody. Um, I've been meaning to make this uh, video for a while now. Um, for a few weeks anyway. And uh, I thought I should probably come clean. Um, now if you've never heard of me or never watched any of my videos, none of this is going to matter anyway. But I'm not that big, but I've got a few, few, few people have seen my vids and stuff. So to at least, you know a dozen people maybe this might mean something but um, yeah it's just honesty is the most important thing um, particularly for a Christian you know and honesty is the most important thing always um, and uh, I made a several vids and several times I've professed my atheism um, but you know, I've got, I've got to tell you something that I haven't told you, okay? Um, in my opinion, the Bible is the single most important document in the whole of English culture, by far. I mean, bar none, it is by far and away the most important piece of work in the whole of English culture, and probably in the culture of other Christian nations too uh, you know but I can't speak for them um, and fact number two which might shock you I think the Bible should be taught in every single school in this country and when I say taught I don't mean um, you know it should be taught in religious classes I mean it should be taught, it should be taught, particularly in English, you know, it should be taught, it should be taught to children, regardless of whether they go to a religious school or not, okay, which brings me to the point of this video, um, I'm a Christian. <laughs> yeah right, fuck off, I'm not Christian, fuck you. Um, <laughs> bollocks, no, but I do stand by what I just said. I'm not Christian, uh, did I, uh, I got you for a sec. Um, no, absolutely, I'm an atheist, but I do think, I do agree with the two points I just made. Um, and it might be a shock to some atheists out there. I think the Bible is the most important document in the whole of English culture, and I do think it should be taught in schools, not just in religious classes, but, you know, as a standard part of the curriculum, like, in its own right, um, almost. I don't know if there would be a Bible lesson, but there, there sh it should be certainly taught. And I'll tell you why. You can't appreciate English literature without the Bible. English culture, um, whether it's literature or not, has Christianity and the Bible as such a crucial part of it, whether you like it or not. And particularly as far as uh, writing goes, you know, whether it's poetry, whether it's plays, whether it's um, novels or whatever, you can't take Christianity out of English culture because, um, you know, whether you're looking at really obvious stuff like Milton and Blake or something, you know, you go, oh yeah, they, they were obviously, you know, there was religion involved there. But even if you're not talking about them, guys, it could be anyone. It could be Chaucer, it could be Shakespeare, it could be Keats, it could be anyone. It could be anyone. Religion, Christianity, I mean, specifically, and the Bible, allusions to them are made all the time. Even in episodes of Stargate and Star Trek, you know, you know popular science fiction programs, which are fairly important to our culture at the moment, in, you know, to some people. They make reference to the Bible in some way or another. They make that everyone all the time makes allusions to the Bible and to Christianity. I mean, you couldn't have English culture, and by English culture I mean sort of English speaking, you know, the 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 Anglo sphere as it's known, you know, the English speaking world culture, if it weren't for the Bible. If you took Christianity and the Bible out of our culture, we wouldn't be left with much because it's so crucial to our culture. Um, I mean, when you think about it, don't, don't, I'm not going to list a bunch of things because it's, it's everywhere. It's ubiquitous. Just 
think about it how often you get biblical references or um, biblical allusions or things based on things in the Bible or in Christian teachings in our culture it's everywhere you know <clears throat> the difference is um, I m being an atheist and I, I have to make this video because I haven't seen any other atheists lord the Bible and say look isn't it good and because obviously we're thinking in terms of people using the Bible as a kind of judge a barometer of what's good and what's bad and what's true and what's scientific and all this when we know that's all crap um, but I still haven't seen any atheists sort of tout the Bible and say oh yeah it's really great for um, you know for these other reasons because as a sort of cultural document as a sort of book as our sort of tribes mythology it's crucially important because it's so important to our literature it's so important to our culture so um, I think it should be taught and read and respected um, but only in the same sense that the myths of Greece and Rome should be taught and respected now lots of atheists make that point they say yeah it should be taught and respected just like the Greeks and Romans myths because they were full of crap too no that's not the point that's not the point people look back at the myths of Greece and Rome and go yeah okay it was full of bullshit but what what interesting stories what interesting stories to retell and also what interesting stories to make allusions to in our poems in our plays in our television programs etc and it's true Greek and Roman mythology are very important to Western culture you know they're very important to our culture we look at them and we go okay it's got no truth value and you can't really use the sort of corpus or body of uh, Greek and Roman myths as a sort of any sort of test of what's scientific or what's moral you can interpret some and you can take some truths from some and you can look at them and go oh that's interesting it's our tribe's history you know but we sort of you know what I mean it, we, we accept it and embrace it as our sort of mytho mythological um, heritage but we should do the same with Christianity I mean we do um um Oh, I can't think of the word. Blah. It's, come on, it's half past ten in the morning. It's way too early for a student like me. Um, uh, on the surface, we don't. But deep, we do. Because um, under the surface, we do take on board Christianity and the Bible as part of our culture, just as we do with the Roman and the Greek myths. But it's on the surface, we don't. Because so many people cling to it as the truth. Why can't we just say, look... The Christians and all that are wrong. What my ideal world would be, people would realise that Bible isn't a basis for truth, it's not a basis for good morals, it's not the word of God, it's just the set of myths like the Roman and Greek myths. But conversely, once everyone's been brought over to that point of view, I wouldn't want the world to be like the atheist community on YouTube. I want people to say, look, but aren't these myths great? It's our heritage, it's our history. Let's be proud of it. But, you know, in the same sense we're proud of the Romans and Greek uh, myths. They're, they're not relevant to everyday life, neither should the myths of the Bible, and they are myths. But they should be um, trumpeted for the great cultural artefacts they are, and for the great things that they've contributed to our culture and uh, our civilization. Without, without the Bible, without Christianity, our culture would be what? Nothing. 